Hey everybody and welcome back to Nelly and Ruth Designs. I'm going to work in the crossword puzzle large print book uh, with the hashtag 2023 crossword CW collage. So if you'd like to join in or you'd like to see what uh, collages have been created um, on the in this crossword puzzle book feel free to use the hashtag 2023CW collage. And if you'd like to join in uh, and you make some crossword puzzle collages, please use this hashtag. I would love to see what you are doing. So this week um, I have this scale because as you all know, I'm using these vintage paper dolls from the sewing pattern jackets and I have her. I thought she'd be quite fun to use. She looks like a little princess, doesn't she? I have a saying and I, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I have no ideas behind it. I, this is a piece of scrap um, here. It's a like a vintage, styled after a vintage slide. Um, I have these pretty stamps here, US Postage, founder of um, the Memorial Poppy. And it is the, looks like Moina. Moina Michael, M-O-I-N-A, is that how you pronounce it? Moina. Um, her lovely photo on the front, her picture. And then I have um, these here, which I thought were a lot of fun. I found these in my ephemera collection, and it's some vellum. So I thought maybe we might use this. Um, my saying, my my quote, not really a quote, but I guess my quote, it's queen for the day. So I thought that I would work around this. We're going to cover this side and we will get started. All right, so I have my paper here. We're just going to get this down. I like to cover over to the left here to, so I have some writing space. And if you've seen me work on these, you know the drill. This is probably the worst possible thing I should be doing is gluing on my project here, but oh well. Say that. Oh, let's see here. Let's put that right about there. That'll be good. So again, I have no idea really what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to set these over here to the side. And I do have a fun saying that came off of my calendar. It says, we can't all be princesses. There need, there need to be some people to clap when I walk by. So I thought that would be cute for that. Um, I have these here. I have this really pretty piece of paper. And then I have these here with the butterfly. So... Um, I'm thinking, because again, I have to, I'm going to be working around the saying here, my little phrase. So what I'm thinking of doing is cutting around the butterfly here. It looks like I would be coming up along this line, cutting around this butterfly Um, or I'm wondering if it might be better to cut cut this out here. So you can actually see um, my thought process with this whole how sometimes how I come to do things here. Um, this is I can see the dark line here. So if I don't really want to cut and have anything straight down around here. So if I come, if I come up and around this, right, come around here and then I come down, maybe catch it here because I would like to have the princess 
maybe in this area here. So if I have a swoop, that won't matter much because I want to come up and cut this butterfly out. So let's start there with that. And then maybe the other reason I'm doing these collages like this too is I do want to, um, I want to help everybody with, you know, how they, how to look at, how to look at a page and how to look at something such as this. Um, so if I come up and around this, I can move it over. I'm not sure it's going to be really straight. Only This is on, a, on an angle. So I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't just for now Maybe I could softly, I'm going to come at an angle first, okay? I'm going to come straight across, and then we're going to see where that takes us. And I'm going to cut down into this butterfly. So in case I want to put her, it's kind of like you have to be one step ahead of yourself. So if I put her here, then these wings can go right over her dress as well. And I'm just going to cut this in like this but I'm not going to cut it away, all right? So you see what I did there? I'm not going to cut it away. Because if I have her here, see how that works? All right. I can have this these two wings over her. So I want this. She's going to go over this here. So I'm just going to cut up I'm going to, I'm not going to cut the whole thing away just yet. Um, I could slice it right up, but I want to see because I can tell here. Okay, so here's the line here. All right, so I can come across. I'm going to come up one, all right? And then I'm going to cut this out here. And I believe I can take that off. Then I can use this. And then this is going to be like this. And we're going to have, we will have her like this. So what I want to do is I want to cut across a little bit more right I think in between these lines here because I can see this dark line running across and I'm going to come down one more line and because I want this butterfly to pretty much go around her dress I think it will be okay you see where I say something you have to be one step ahead of yourself when you're so this is going to go around like that okay so I don't need to cut down around there okay but I do want to cut around this butterfly And we are going to swoop down around here because I'm trying to envision at the same time. All right, and we are going to come across here like this, okay? Trying to envision at the same time 
how this butterfly is going to be placed on there. So we're going to have this here. This butterfly is going to come up and around. And we can actually move her over a little bit because her skirt is wider on the bottom. And it's okay if her arm is here under the the. Um, if I wanted to, I could move this over a little bit like that. And then I could always put... I could put something here. I could put, you know what I might do? I might be able to put, if I really didn't want to cover up the word the, and I'm going to clip the bottom of this so I can play around with it a little bit. Um, and I can see where I might want to put other things before I glue everything down. I think I'm going to use the specimen ticket here. So please let me know if you are participating um, with this, if you were able to get a, a book or if you were able to run some templates off of um, the internet that you can use. So my whole intention for this, I was going to put over here but maybe I would cut this down a little bit or I could put that there like that and we also have these tickets so I would really like to use something like this so we have a cold cream we have a hair tonic wine bitters and we have a druggist and apothecary I don't think I want to use that if any if I used anything I would probably use the wine bitters. Let's try that. Let's cut this out. Try not to be off camera, but sometimes I can't help it. If I'm just cutting or something, it's no big deal. Um, Um, now you can't see the day. So let's see here. I think I would rather, I don't care if her arm is over that day. I think that'll be okay. All right. Then I can take this and I can move this down here. that this I might stitch around just to add a little bit a little something to that so let's just add let's add this okay so we've got that going on so far All right uh, the specimen we could we could still add the specimen up here like that. That would help soften that corner. And I probably, um, maybe I would just stitch a portion of it and then angle the corners just to soften that. And up here, I'd like to have some butterflies, some more butterflies or something. Um, I don't necessarily think the tickets would be good. Um, I don't think we have, I don't think we need to use these postage stamps. I would like something up along the top here or along the side. 
Um, let's see, what can we do here? I could cut these out, fussy cut these, and maybe have them coming out from the side. That might be a possibility. This is a little different one because I haven't, I haven't uh, made the border for it. You know, my others I created a frame and and framed it all in. That kind of helps take away and use up some of that white space. But you want to have your white space as well because you want it to know. Um, you know that it, it's a crossword puzzle so you want those black and white spaces in it and around it okay So I hope everyone is enjoying their summer. Um, we've had some beautiful days. And if you're at the ocean this time of year, that water is still cold. Um, but the kids aren't, a lot of kids aren't out of school yet. So the big summer vacations, I don't think are happening yet. And you still have a ways, ways to go for that because... All right, so let's just see this here. So this actually works out really well because of the, um, just the way it is on the paper with the straight cuts. So I think I will use that there. Um, got a little bit of a music sheet here. I think I will tear this. Rip and tear a little bit of this and put this along the top. Maybe this will go, maybe it won't go. And I want it like, I think I want it upside down like this because I want this straight end in there. Maybe I don't. Maybe I want it more like this. So we could have that there like that to take up a little bit of room. It's really monotone. Well, I don't even know if I want to call it monotone, but... And then I think maybe up here we can put a, a nice butterfly... Um, because we do have the, too bad I didn't have a butterfly net she could hang on to. Um, this butterfly is kind of pretty. Let me go look in my German stickers and maybe we can add a really pretty butterfly up here in the corner. There, I pulled a few butterflies. And maybe we can add a little bit of zing to this. These are already cut. Let's see if one of these, this is a, a blue that might go, the blue and the green. Oh, that kind of blends in, doesn't it, with that black. Um, I don't think that was a little bit smaller. That could be landing on her her hand. These I'm going to put back. These aren't going to, maybe a, a nice, maybe a yellow or something in that green to um, that's a pretty one and that would go, that kind of has the same colors in there, doesn't it? That one. 
What else do we have? It's too big. These are too... Oh, that's too muted. Okay, that yellow, that's kind of... I think maybe this one might be the best one. That's pretty. That would go really well. And then with her green, let's try that one. Ay, ay, ay. Let's try this one. If you're not working on collages, you'll have to always leave me a comment as to what you're working on. I, I really do like to hear what everyone is doing. When I talk to my girlfriend, she, she does a multitude of crafts. She's, I mean, she's a real crafter. She does it all. And, it's like, Lee, what are you working on this weekend? Or what are you talk to her the other day? I'm like, what are you working on today? She has so many. She does sublimation and she does so many different things. Mugs and you name it, she does it. I don't know. Is that too big? I think that might be a little too big. I need a smaller one. I really like that one. I just think it goes. Maybe we need to move this. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Maybe I can have it like this. I don't know. I don't know. I really like that there but I like this butterfly and I just don't think, um, I just don't think that now that this goes, see, this is my dilemma. I really like that there, but I think maybe I just need a smaller butterfly. So guess what? I'm going to, cause I don't have any smaller I have smaller ones, but I don't think that they're appropriate. I don't, I don't know if I want to bring this red in. Oops. I don't know if I want to bring that in. It's kind of muted, isn't it? And I don't like the red. So that's a no. Um, I just love this part. Maybe, maybe I could find a butterfly stamp. Maybe I should do that. Let's look for a butterfly stamp. So here are the butterfly stamps that I have. I just love these. Um, let me see if I have one that's already. There's one that's broken apart already. The, the white might be fine. All right, spam call. All right, so I have the white one here and I would still like to add this up here just to finish off that corner. And maybe I could just add that little stamp there like that. Um, this is a pretty one though too. This one might work better. This one might work better. I was actually looking to see, okay, here's the other stamps. I'd like to leave that main strip so I can use that somewhere else. I think I will try this one here. You know, sometimes I get comments from gals that, you know, say that I, 
I make it all look so easy, but it's not all that easy. Um, and there's a lot of, with collage work, there's a lot of behind the scene prepping before it, it even starts or you even get going. Um, but this is, this is how it works when I'm not sure what's going to happen or how I'm going to do it. It's just hit and miss and trial and try this and try that. So when you're collaging, if it's not coming together for you right away, do not get discouraged. Um, it, collaging is supposed to be fun. It's just supposed to be, um, you know, using your imagination, what you have. For me, it's like filling in little blanks, little blank spots, um, how you can make fun little pictures using just little pieces of paper and items that you enjoy working with. It doesn't always have to make sense. Um, it works much better if you keep your, your glue bottle opened up here. And I don't know where my pin is um, that goes in this. So let's try this little, let's try this little bottle here. Let's see if this is unclogged and usable. Otherwise, you're going to have to bear with me and let's see here. Oh, I hate how these this happens. Um, let's see if I can't find my little pen, I'm going to have to duck out one more time and try my best to get these unclogged. Let me try this one first. Come on. And I've learned to keep a rubber eraser here to keep my pins in it, but most of the time I just throw the pins down and I can't find them amongst my scraps. So we will put this right about here. Um, so what was I saying? Oh, just that when you collage, it's just little pieces of paper and ephemera that you like, that you want to work with. And um, you want to use in a fun sort of way. And that would add some pleasantry to your page. There. Yeah, I like that corner now. It just kind of adds a little something there. Okay. So I think this is good. But what I want to do now is get... Um, I want to get this page here. And what I'm going to do is because this is going to be right on the bottom here, I want to fold this over so I make sure I get this right on straight. And then this will fold, this will be the end here. All right. And I'm just going to, instead of ripping this, I'm just going to cut this and glue it down. Because my luck, I would rip it and it would rip the rest of the paper. All right, so that way I've just got to 
And what I want to do, is this good here? Yeah, this is good here, just like this. So that comes right along that bottom there, okay? And remember, uh, when you do have, when you have multiple layers and you're adding something, don't be gung-ho and get it all glued down like that butterfly because you know that has to overlap this here. So why don't we get our gal, why don't we get our little princess here? Um, in order. All right. And I can move this just a little bit here. And I can have her arm right in between the the and the day. Okay. I'll just turn her a little bit. All right, so we are going to get her glued right here, right down like this, okay? And we're going to tack the little butterflies. We'll tack them down. And we'll get this butterfly tacked down. That way she'll be right in position. Get her arm tacked down here. Now we can flip this because I don't believe there's anything else that's going to be tucked under. And now we can get this down. All right. Oh, let's see here. Where's my little, grab my little paddle here to lift her up. And again, I'm going to put her down according to right here. Right there, okay? All right, all right, so we have her here. Get her little foot here glued. We'll have to trim that, the bottom of her slipper off there. Okay, so this here, I think maybe I won't. I'm just going to clip it. I was t talked about stitching it, but I think I'm just going to clip it, clip it, clip it, and then I will add some ink to it. Because when you collage, I don't know, you really don't stitch anything. It's all... All right, so we're going to put that there like that. And then I think we were going to put the specimen up here, correct, to soften that corner. So we're going to put that right about there like that. And we'll put this. So that's right there. Okay. All right. What's next? What are we forgetting? Um, forgetting something, aren't we? We're forgetting something up. Oh, yes, yes, yes. See, I wasn't paying attention. And this was to go behind here. So what I'm going to... Oh, Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. Okay. That is down because that's art glitter glue. All right. 
So see, normally what I do is I will um, lay everything out, as you know, and I start to glue behind. I didn't do that this time, did I? So I think maybe what I can do is I can trace around this because I still want this behind here like this. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this over a little bit and I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to try to come up and around this, okay? We're going to see how this works out. And I'm just going to cut this little piece out here. So wish me luck. So if we have this here, this has to come down and around here, right? Ah. Uh, well, let's see. Let's give it a let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. You're probably all screaming at me. But it's good that sometimes these things happen. So when you do forget something, I'm not going to say when you make a mistake or an error because there's really no mistakes. You can't make a mistake collaging, I don't think. If you just forget something, then you can work at it and... Like so, that can go like that, okay? We're going to bring this down a little bit. And where's my other pen? I'm going to come around like that. And then this, and we can just bring that. This totally got messed up. Well, let's see about this. This totally got messed up. I may have to change the angle on this. Um, okay, so I can see it this way. All right, well, that's not too bad. And then I can just take my black pen. That there. That there didn't come out very well, did it? Hmm. Um, so maybe what I'll do, that looks pretty good like that. I'll cut this bottom off a little bit. And if I bring this down a tad like this, then I can just take care of that wing. That's what I'm going to do with my black pen. So we're going to get this down here first like this. Okay. And that's okay. That's okay like that. Then I can take this black Sharpie 
and I can just fix the wing, make it look like the wings are coming down a little bit more. See? That is no big deal. And then I'll fix it up here on the little bit of the vellum. There. There. That looks just fine. I'll go across on this piece. There. There. No worries there. I'll fill this in. All right. Look at that. No worries, worries, worries. So, I think that is it. I think we have completed this pretty little collage. Um, this one will be listed in the 2023 um, CW collage, crossword collage. And yeah, so I guess you got a little taste of everything today. You got um, something that was really raw. I really had no idea where this was going. Um, you can see how you can mend a... Uh, mistake or you forget to put something in instead of tucking it behind because that art glitter glue forget it once it's down it's down um, how to work and measure your page down here how to add something to your little corner so these are all I guess little techniques that you know I want to pass on to you um, as I collage and I also get I get a book here so Thank you everybody for joining in. If you like this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. I'd love to have you leave your comments. And please, as you're collaging, please add everything over to hashtag 2023CWCollage. So thanks everybody and have a great day. Bye-bye.